Good morning, Washington. Good morning. We are in the Sol Duke area of Olympic National Park, and today we are hiking a loop out of the Sol Duke Resort parking area. Now we are going to continue up Mink Lake Trail, pick up the Little Divide. We're going to hike the Duck Lake, Deer Lake, Deer Lake Trail back down, and then the Lover's Lane Trail back to our campsite. We've measured the loop and figure it's somewhere between 11 and a half and 15 miles. Um, the distance varies a lot because there's little spurs like what we're doing right now where we're going to go out to see views. We don't know how many of them are going to be like official trail. And we also added in the hike to the loop from our campsite. So that added about a mile total. <laughs> We made it up a 2,500 foot climb, and now we are on the Little Divide Trail, uh, and it's so super cool. It's a ridge walk. It's amazingly reminiscent of the Smokies out here. The mountains are about the same elevation, and they are different from each other. The Olympics are a bit more rugged, but there's still a lot of similarities in the Smokies with how there's like these sort of long, flat, trails that lead up to really steep climbs to the tops of the mountains. The flora is somewhat similar. Um, just a lot more pines out here and a, a little bit more Pacific Northwest touch as you'd expect because that's where we are. Um, but it's kind of fun to be out here and have it feel also a little bit like home at the same time. We made it about nine miles into the hike and it started raining. This is the first rain we've had in the rainforest so far. Um, we had a snack at Deer Lake and as we started heading back down the trail is when the rain picked up. So we put the big camera away, got our rain jackets out and we're keeping our fingers crossed that it stays pretty light because we left our tent completely open down at camp. Um, we haven't had rain yet, and obviously we should always be sort of prepared for it, but without a lot of internet service lately, we just haven't been looking at the weather.
Well, the rain never got too bad, and now the sun is out, and we are down to the Lover's Lane Trail. This connects the Salt Duke Falls with the Salt Duke Falls Resort, and that is where we started our hike, at least the loop portion of our hike. So we have about three miles left. Traffic is really picked up. We're closer to parking lots and more popular trails. The whole area of Olympic is the place that in our minds was the most known for its mosses and ferns and just rainforest vibes. But I've got to say that this area really has a lot of that too. So if you're short on time and you feel like you can't make it all the way out to the hoe, I feel like this is a place where you can really experience a lot of what you would see there without maybe having to do as much of a um, side trip. So don't feel too bad if that's a section that you have to skip. Well, we're approaching our wrap on the Mink Lake, Little Divide, Deer Lake, Lover's Lane Loop. This is gonna clock in at probably about 14 miles if you park at the Sol Duke Resort. You can also do this hike if you park at Sol Duke Falls. And from there, you can either choose to start on Lover's Lane or start on Deer Lake. We like to get our climbing done with first. So that's why we went up Mink Lake. If you share that philosophy, you might want to head up Deer Lake first. However, I will say that Deer Lake probably makes the best destination for this hike. It's the prettiest of the two lakes that you pass. So you pass Mink Lake and Deer Lake. And Deer Lake was much prettier. There's some great views near the beginning of the Little Divide Trail and the end of the, of the Little Divide Trail. But overall, just know that there's still a good bit of steep climbing on that trail, even though it seems like you're gonna walk a ridge. Our elevation is gonna clock in at about 3,100 feet for this hike, with most of it being on the climb up Mink and the rest of it being on the Little Divide Trail. If you go up Deer Lake, you'll do a good bit of your climbing on Deer Lake, and then you'll have a really steep climb to get up to the Little Divide. All in all, highly recommend this hike out in Olympic. It's a great way to experience the Salt Duke area, the forests, and not have too many crowds. Good morning. It's our last day in Olympic National Park. We have not showered in seven days. We're out of milk, so we're having trail food for breakfast. Um, we are alone at Salt Duke Falls. It is 5.50 a.m., so we woke up real early and hit the trail before anyone else. Um, We've had a really, really good visit. It has been exhausting. I think it's safe to say that Olympic is relentless. The hills, the climbing, the steepness, the rockiness, the rootiness, it's just never ending hard. So we have a lot left ahead of us here in this park. We've done two visits to the park. One was a long time ago, really before we were hikers. We were just starting to dabble with even big day hikes. Um, and then this is our second visit. So 
We're sitting at about 10 and a half percent of the park being done. And that feels pretty good, pretty big. It's a huge park, somewhere between 500 and 700 miles of trail, depending on what we end up counting. So we're gonna call it a win that we've done a big backpack out here that we have hiked a ton of miles. have one more adventure in store for ourselves today. So we'll see how this morning goes and we'll take you along for that if it happens. So for our last hike of Olympic this go round, we are climbing up Mount Storm King. It is about 2,200 feet in two miles, maybe, maybe less. We don't really know. Um, it is steep as anything, but we are right along Lake Crescent and the views are starting to come in. It's super pretty, so we're just going to keep climbing. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, we hope you'll leave us a like. Please comment and tell us about a time that you hiked in Olympic, or if you ever head out and do this trail, we'd love to hear about your reports from it. If you wanna join us on our journey, you can do that just by subscribing to our channel. That way you'll always know wherever we're hiking next. In the meantime, we hope that you're having a great hike wherever you are.